Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another episode of Fallout Shelter. Uh, we are taking our Max Dwellers out into the wasteland onto the quests. And this one is Stop the Presses. I believe this is the final Bugle Boy uh, the you know, Boston Bugle quest. But I'm not 100% sure of that, so we're just going to keep on keeping on and see what happens. We've got a lovely loading screen with radioactive spinny symbols and a black background. It's very attractive. Confront the editor. We're going to do it. We're going to say, hey, man. Why you being a jerk? Why you working with the raiders and killing all the people in the other vaults? Because, you know, yeah, that's not cool. And we don't want to have to blow you up with many nukes and machine guns and other mean, nasty, dirty things. Oh, yeah. Plowed through them like nobody business. Well, Donald, you can't be in charge, buddy. Sorry. You've only got one name. You don't have a last name, you can't be in charge. Sorry. Like, we, we haven't ever had a President Madonna. You know? President... Uh... Whatever. I don't know. I'm... I'm I'm not feeling too well today, guys, but here I am, because I know you guys want to see some vault people, some vault dwellers out here, all maxed out and wasting, wasting raiders, wasting raider noobs, and other various things that are attacking us in the wasteland. This guy got some mean guns. Now I think that I got the upgraded version of the lead belcher. I'll take whatever I can get. You, you can get so much better than that, Lucas Sims. You know, you're maxed out now. You're a legendary dweller. You know, Sheriff Megaton. Out there, where's his boy? That's what I want to know. If, if Lucas Sims is living in the vault with us, where is his boy at? I mean, it just seems like I don't think he'd leave him behind anywhere, and so that sounds like it's a sad story that I don't want to hear, so never mind. These guys, they just, they just never learn. Oh, let's put raiders in here. We're gonna stand in here. You, know, we, you gotta send some higher level people than that. If you wanna stop the Brad train. Oh yeah, they got knives and stuff. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of you. But we ain't even really hurt yet. Everybody's just like, yeah, we're fine. Don't worry about us, Brad. We got this. All right, fellas. You say so. Take your word for it. Oh, wow. I missed stuff all the way down here. Whew, in there. Boy, I tell you what. You can tell I don't feel good. Did I remember to pack them some stem packs this time? Yes. At least I did that. At least I'm not completely completely out of it or I wasn't when I sent these guys out I've got some guys who have been out for almost two days now think you can shut my paper down with violence prepare to become a victim of the a scathing editorial not only that I'll publish the name and location of your vault my raider pals will eat you up and spit you out but I get half of everything the raiders take in fact I'll cut you in if you just walk away no, lying is lying and people are dying. We're here to stop you. That's right. We don't beat them up. Oh, excuse me, guys. 
Fine then. Have at thee. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that you don't want to do this. Fairly certain that you would have been better off if you had not. My guys, man, they've got that action. They got that perception. They got that luck. You got that awesome strength. So we hurt people bad when we when we have to. Don't mess around. Out here in the wasteland, can't afford to mess around. Can't afford to take no chances. On no on the word of some supposed editor who's just a guy in a professor suit. Go on a quest, find treasure, repeat. Yeah, so far, the treasure is kind of lacking. And if this is supposed to be the final mission, then I'm a, a tad disappointed, I'll be honest. You know, that there wasn't, that we've gone through all this and we've killed all these low-level dudes like, like a knife through butter. And, you know, for our pain and suffering, and the days and days of, of waiting, we should be rewarded in a more appropriate manner. But that's okay. I'm not here to gripe about loot. I'm here to have a good time. And a good time is killing raiders. And so I just had three good times in less than probably two or three seconds. Ka-ching! That's right, ka-ching. Five raiders. Five weak and lame raiders who will all be dead. Yeah, I didn't even mess with the cur- Hey, well, why not? Let's kill everybody. Boom! Ah. Oh. Not quite, not, not great. 3x was still good, but, you know, still means I didn't, I didn't reach my full potential. Empty room? Wow, completely empty room. Thank you so much, you suckers. Now, does this mean, now, it'd be cool if because we did this, all of a sudden we got raided, like, big time back at the vault with, like, a ton of of raider dudes I would actually kind of be down with that and I'd be kind of excited because that would that would really tie it all back together because we chose the the we can't kill you sucker so that looks like it confront the editor all everything cleared out some blues and that's all we got I mean for a final quest, I think that that was quite anticlimactic. Um, you know, a lot of it is my own fault because I'm coming out here, you know, loaded for death claws and running into some little wimpy, wimpy raider dudes. But it just makes me wonder, you know, am I about to get super attacked by a bunch of raiders I don't know sorry about that every once in a while I get crazy and start clicking on everything alright so now I, not when Preston calls but there's no crying in baseball which is another one of the Racky Jobinson quest line let's see how we can do with this one can we do okay will we do well will we not will we will we Will we? Who knows? There's no crying in baseball. Which is a quote from a silly movie with some good acting in it. And a variety of interesting people. So glad I'm here with my pals. What was that? Major League? Is that no? No, that that was different. I think I just said it. I don't know. 
Now it's gone from my mind. My brain has eaten it. That's now all I can think of is, hey, Madonna was in that movie. We've already said something about Madonna. That's, that's kind of intriguing. Why is my brain in the Madonna category? It hasn't dwelled a lot there since I was a teenager. And Madonna was getting into the groove. Okay, yeah. But I'll tell you guys, my age, I mean, when I was, when I was a teenage boy, Madonna was hot as fire. And she's still pretty dang hot. But, my goodness. There, there's probably a lot of, a lot of men my age that, that share that same opinion. She's still a fine looking woman. I guarantee you that. Oh, oh, wait, wait. We need to go to the basement. What are we doing? Can't just run run up to the top. This one looks like they may actually be some a few little tougher characters. Looks like we're getting a lot better loot out of the deal. So I ain't gonna complain. It's not like they're tough enough to to destroy us. Uh oh. Oh now that oh shoot. Okay. Who's tanking? Who's tanking him? Hey, who's tanking that guy? Yeah. Okay. You get so healed. Um, yeah. You get so oh whoops. Get not so nuked. Boom. Ah. It's still messing up. It's alright. It's alright. Don't sweat it, Brad. Don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. Don't let him scare you. It's just a giant rad scorpion. Getting off track. I don't care. Who says we're off track? Finding blue loots sounds like a right track to me. Finding legendaries would be the even rider track. Well, at least they're sending some boss critters after us. You know. Even if they're not Deathclaw Alphas, they're ace bosses. Shoot that thing. Boom! Aw, oh, dang it. I knew I had missed one as soon as I said boom. I don't think that my hand-eye coordination is as good as it usually is. <laughs> of course, you guys are like, Brad, it's never good. Shh. Let's not bring reality into this. Let's Let's leave this in the realm of the internet and imaginary things that aren't real. Because I'm good at video games in my imagination. Shoot him! Shoot him, shoot him! Oh. Yeah, this is definitely a little tougher one. But the other thing is I'm realizing that my quest guys are just really not as strong as especially these these three here they're just not as tough as the guys that I've that I've grown from scratch you know just guys that I pulled out of the race land, wasteland with the radio the race land with the radio yep me and R's and W's fellas I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't know. But sometimes I cannot speak properly. Despite how lovely my voice sounds. Listen to the smooth sounds of Brad killing people in the wasteland. Nice. Eh. She gets way too excited over right away when we've got like more than a dozen of them sitting in the thing already. Oh, more mole rats and another mole rat mo brood mother. Die, brood mother. Oop. Yep. Did, what, did nothing happen? Or did it just not kill them and that surprised me? Let's see what we have here. Oh, some more 
Radway. This looks like a pretty, pretty good sized little mappy map. Maybe I'll run into some... Oh, hey. That was the wrong button, fellas. Get back up here. Oh. What in the world is going on with my clicking fingers? Do not betray me, clicking fingers. That was... You should be ashamed of yourself trying to make me look bad on for the imaginary people on the internet. Get them. Shoot them in the head. Shoot them in the head. I ain't gonna bother. He already did. Yeah. Legendary. Now if they give me some new Cola Quantum I would be okay with that. I would find that appropriate in this situation. Meryl. Yeah, you deserve it. Uh, uh. It's almost not, but it was. Plutnik? You gonna shoot him again? Man, boy, those parrots are sure vicious. Vicious attack parrots. I'm glad those aren't a real thing. Birds freak me out, man. And they're just little flying dinosaurs, man. And, you know, the only thing keeping us at the top of the food chain is the fact that they're not bigger. And what are we doing? We're steroiding and hormoning and everything else out the entire planet. Pretty soon we're going to have birds the size of... 747s flying around. Because of genetic manipulation. And, and over um, steroidization and antibiotication. It's going to be scary. <clears throat> yeah. See, it takes me a minute. Because i got to get the rhythm. And the rhythm is going to get you. Yeah, glorious fawn. That was another fine lady from the days of my youth. Another note on the ground. Let me guess, it's from Coach. This is not the place, jerks. All right, I've got to give you dwellers credit. Yes, you do. Or at least, you know cash. The wasteland is throwing everything at you, and still you press on like nails. But you're still not getting Jobinson's jersey, coach. Hey, there's a lunchbox. See, that's the kind of loot we should be seeing at the end of a quest, and this isn't even the end of a quest. What are we doing here again? We're looking for uh, Racky Jobinson's jersey. Wait, what? I thought you knew. Racky Jobinson's jersey. You just read a note about it, fellas. I mean, I know. You can't be blamed. Your boss has a short-term memory issue as well. But that's all right. Some kind of sometimes the tape recorder in your head just forgets to record. That's okay. It's all right. Everything gonna be fine. Just hit these critters in the head with your various weapons of mass destruction. <clears throat> oh, that was terrible. Well, I mean, it wasn't super. It wasn't as bad as some of them we've clicked, huh? Don't worry, you've got me. I'm pretty awesome. Woohoo! You are pretty awesome. Not as awesome as I had hoped. But you'll do in a pinch. Okay. Well, we're almost done with this thing already. Wow. We're just flying through. Come on. No, no death call. Oh, well. How about a... No. Not even a big glowing red scorpion. Oh, well. Kill off these little bald... Bald critters. Sorry about that, guys. I kind of... 
bumped something and it hit an empty can of soda because I'm a slob. Oh, yes. You guys are like, why don't you have a face cam? Because, <laughs> yes, you don't want to see me. You think you might want to see me, but you don't. You don't want to see me. You definitely don't want to see my room. My wife, my poor wife, she suffers. Hey, lunchbox, military duct tape, and legendary weapon recipe. And that's just the beginning of our fat loot. Fat loot on parade. Okay, now this next one's going to cost us a few quantums, but I've been saving up. And it they've been out on the on the road for two days now or almost so let's see okay this person's been out for a while you've been out for a couple of days you've been out for a couple of days all you guys are doing so good then the one person now I've got a bunch of people down here at the bottom oh hey let's do it and we just now hit three hours so that's I, I mean three quantums so that's nice right before I started this it was four so just playing through those others gave us enough time to reduce the cost down another quantum and that's how it works you know if you hadn't noticed in your own playthroughs or if you're not playing if you haven't noticed in these playthroughs that um, the shorter time the, the closer something is to happening the less it takes to speed it up so it's handy okay all right fellas now you guys ought to be tough enough because this this one seems like it may be a doozy you know just just from from how it is how long it took to get there and also the fact that we have to use plasma rifles that was a stipulation of the quest. It said, oh, you have to be, you know, this much and shoot this many. So, yeah. But they also put, uh, <laughs> well, some of these quests, they'll put, um, oh, a special stat requirements. Like, oh, they have to have an intelligence of this or um, something. And that's why... I'm like, Max Dwellers, folks, ain't got to worry about no requirements, because I got them handled. More little bald rodents. You guys and your bald rodents. You tire me. You tire me with this with these lame shaven creatures that come from under the ground send me some bigger meaner leather more leathery critters like some death claws how about a death claw death claw oh no death claw and eh, more crap erupting out of the floor oh rad roaches oh you You've got to be kidding me. Sending red roaches to a to a plasma laser fight. Plasma rifle fight. What you doing? Hey! But as long as they're giving us loot like that, they can keep on sending them. Keep on sending the little easy things to kill, ya fools. Ya suckers. Because we're here to shoot people in the face. Or little ball rodents, it doesn't matter to us. Oh, yeah, I just, I didn't even let myself try to get into a rhythm that time. I was just like, eh. Yeah. That's how much contempt I have. I'm showing my contempt by not even paying attention when I click. And I still got a five because... You know, if I was trying, I wouldn't have. All right. Oh, more 
floor erupty dudes. How are you even erupting out of the floor? Are these little black spots or those vents where you guys are hiding late in wait? You know, doesn't it get stuffy in between the walls? Shouldn't she, you know, try to get out, get outside, get some fresh air? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why you ain't got no hair. You hadn't had enough, had enough sun. It's starting to turn into little, you know, translucent white critters, but to do that you first lose all your hair. You're you're messing up in your evolutionary processes, I'll tell you that. Oop. Yep. Maybe I should just not try anymore, guys. I think if that's you know, not worry about it so much and just click on it. Just use the force. I think that that's probably the best plan. See, these guys are a lot tougher than uh, the other guys. Yeah. Kill. So that was the thing, was to kill mole rats? Okay. No way. I'll buy that, I reckon. I mean, what else am I going to do with it? Sell it? Alright. Everybody healed? Whoa, hey. Quit freaking out. Jeez, finally, someone found us. Yay, we are heroes. You're a lot more effective than that last fellow. Uh-oh. Who's the last fellow? He tried to recruit us into the Minutemen or whatever and then took off. Oh. Preston. Did he say where he was going? Because we're trying to track him down. Because we've got a minute for the Minutemen. Said they were getting some settlers that had been kidnapped by raiders. They're in Vault 778. Here, take this uniform. I'm sure I won't need it. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Outfits. And I was just saying, you know, just commenting on how, how rarely they gave us a legendary outfit. Thank you, Bethesda. You're so thoughtful. All right. Oh, more bugs. We gotta clear this place out for these poor fellas. You know? Minutemen supposed to come and help settlers, you know? And these guys come settle in this office building. Infested by rad roaches. Didn't bother cleaning it out themselves and then worry about why they're all dying. You know? Sometimes you just people just won't help themselves and so you know then if you're of the opinion if you're of a mind to do it then you can help them and they will not be grateful as you can see and they did give us a coat but only because he didn't want it you know here I won't be using this <clears throat> and I think that that's a Minuteman uniform Somebody will be wearing that shortly. As soon as these guys get back, well, it won't be shortly. It'll be, let's see, two hours divided by two. I mean, two days divided by two is one day. And then one day divided by four is, what is that, six hours? Yeah. So they won't be back to the vault for about six hours. Boom. Don't care. Still killed everybody. Because we're vicious. Rawr. Okay. So glad I'm here with my pals. Aww. You guys are so sweet when you're not being stupid. Okay, get on down there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, fellas. I don't know what happened. My sinuses, I got... I've had sinus problems all day. It's not really feeling that great. It's not... I generally don't have allergies, so I mean that it would be aggravating if I suddenly developed a bunch of, you know, pollen allergies and stuff. Cause I'm tough. I'm a big old hillbilly. No little tree um, 
Yeah. Tree junk is going to get me down. Let's see. The reproductive materials ejected from trees during their seasons. And also fungi and things like that. So that was that. And that was it for today's thing. So what did we get? Find the settlers. Kill the mole rat broodmother. Got a Minuteman uniform, a chemistry flask, and a Yalgwai hide. So, we're going to send them back. And we're just going to take a brief glance at the, at the entirety of this loot. And then I'll cut you guys loose and let you run off into the wild to watch either other Let's Plays from other people or more of my Let's Plays or... Who knows? Maybe you'll even go outside. <laughs> no, for real, go outside. Um, and... Yep. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, then like it. And I will catch you on the spatula side. Peace.